going to start out by opening this file, 5.2 Geometric Constraints Master. In the project browser, I'm going to hover over the sketch icon, right mouse button, and select Edit. I'm going to use these commands, these constraint commands. I'm going to zoom in, select my perpendicular constraint, and I'm going to make this line perpendicular to this line. I point to this and then to this, and now you see that the two lines are perpendicular, and you could see this constraint icon here telling me, in fact, that they are perpendicular. I can turn the constraints on and off here in the visual display menu. I can hide all the constraints or make them visible. I'm going to go ahead and leave them on so I can see the constraints as I uh, create them. And make these three lines parallel. I'm going to select my parallel constraint and select this line and make it parallel to that one and select this line and make it parallel to this one. I'm going to make these three circles tangent to one another. I'm going to select the tangent constraint and make this circle tangent to this one and this circle tangent to that circle. Staying in the tangent constraint I'm going to make this circle tangent to this line, and this circle once again tangent to this line. I'm going to use my lock constraint, and I'm going to lock this point C. See, I have a little padlock indicating that the circle is locked in place. I'm going to use this coincident constraint. And I'm going to make this endpoint coincident with this point, and then make this endpoint coincident with this point. And make these three circles concentric. Choose my concentric constraint, and make this circle concentric with this one and this circle concentric with the same. I'm going to make these two lines collinear. I'm going to choose my collinear constraint and make this line collinear with that one. I'm going to make these lines horizontal. I'm going to choose my horizontal constraint and simply point to the lines to make them horizontal. I'm going to make these lines vertical. Choose my vertical constraint and simply point to the lines. I'm going to make this, turn this into an equilateral triangle, make all the sides equal in length. I'm going to choose this constraint, the equal constraint, and I'm going to make this line equal in length to that and this line equal in length to that, and now I have an equilateral triangle. I could do the same with uh, circles. I'm going to make this circle the same size as that circle. I'm still in the equal constraint. I'm going to point to this circle and then to this one, and now they're both the same size. I'm going to use the horizontal constraint to line things up. I'm going to make the center of this circle aligned with this circle horizontally. And then the same here, I'm going to make this one aligned with this one horizontally. And we're done, and we're going to finish our sketch. Save your file, and go to File, Export to PDF, and submit the PDF to project lead the way to complete your assignment.